Well, hello and welcome to today's Monday Minute. My name is Ken Freeman, and here's what I have for you. Up in New York, the City Council has ruled against the pregnancy centers up in New York. EMC Frontline, who ha operates perhaps one of the largest networks in the New York City area, uh, is not taking this laying down. In fact, they have a very aggressive Plan B. Now, with NARAL, uh, clamoring in uh, through their press releases that they would like to see this regulations moved across the nation to all states. My question to you this morning is this. What are you going to do when they come for you? Let's find out in today's Monday Minute. Let's take a look at this local law number 17. March 16, 2011, New York City passed an insidious law aimed at the local pregnancy centers located inside the city of New York. The law, Local 17, requires PSCs or pregnancy service centers to disclose that they do not provide or refer abortions, emergency contraception, and of course the bias that is shown through this uh, ruling is that this does not require abortion facilities to state that they do not refer for prenatal care or to disclose the dangers of abortion. But the U New York City Council admits that this law is a retaliation against pro-life centers uh, following the recent defunding efforts against Planned Parenthood. So let's first understand, let's not give up. We must look for Plan B. EMC Frontline is not giving up. EMC Frontline is located there in New York, and they have a network of centers that have been operating for 25 years. They're not giving up, and neither should you. Plan B, go fully medical and bypass all of these regulations. In other words, what will it cost? Of course it's going to cost the uh, salary of the fully licensed nurse practitioners, the cost of licensing, the cost of the sonogram equipment and supplies, but it's worth it. Your center becomes a community service center, your center becomes fully medical, and your center offers prenatal care, and now you can operate your center free of these regulations. The bottom line, 1 Corinthians 10.13 says, There hath no temptation taken you, but such is common to man. But God is faithful, who will not suffer you to be tempted above that ye are able, but will with the temptation also make a way to escape that you may be able to bear it. Until next week, keep up the good work you're doing. You are making a difference, and the other side just can't stand.